Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be talking about a Kith collaboration done with New Balance on the United Arrows in Suns 990 V4. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're going to be talking about a special collaboration because it is Ronnie Feig's birthday. Happy birthday, Ronnie. Uh, and this is the release of the United Arrows and Sons 9. 90 v4 i am absolutely obsessed with this color combination i've actually been talking about how i've been waiting for a color combination like this so excited to start off with the overview jump into size and fit this again was the first time ever that kith and new balance in history has done a collaboration that is in full family sizing then we'll talk about how i styled this again just a really really fun colorway to work into your wardrobe this summer and then we'll conclude with how these are doing currently on the resale market so let's jump right into it so as far as some anniversaries there are a lot of anniversaries to celebrate specifically with the 990 silhouette it is celebrating its 40th anniversary which is so crazy to think that it's been 40 years since the 990 v uh, 990 series was created and not only was the v4 but it's celebrating also the v1 the v2 and the v3 i've done many videos on those different series so definitely go back and check those videos out if you haven't already to see kind of some key differences but i am really loving this v4 and again just loving this color combination that we have so let's start out at the front of the toe box here so we do have this nice gray meshing and this really just deep royal purple pigskin suede on the outer lining of that mesh on the front of the toe box region we do have this nice light signature gray that new balances very well known for so loving how these hot uh, pops of color really just complementing the sneaker quite nicely so this was actually originally laced up uh, with the black lace I decided actually to do a lace swap just because I feel like the purple just gave it a little something and if you're not feeling the purple you can keep the black laces on or they also give you just a nice simplistic white lace as well I personally feel like the purple is the best for the color scheme that I was going for specifically since I am planning on wearing this in the summertime I feel like this just gives it a more vibrant look really pops off of that nice suede black tongue and on the front here we do have the 990 v4 series and it does say made in USA and New Balance on the side there and it just kind of has this really nice luxurious feel to it and look to it Let's take a look at those details and then we'll move on to the side paneling. Ronnie basically wanted to reinterpret some of his favorite colorways. As far as the rendition that was done on the silhouette, this was originally uh, released in the colorway on the 997. So now we're seeing it on the 990 
V4, but this is a little bit different. And so I do love that it still has a similar feel to it, but we've got some slight variations. I'm still just in love with this color combination that you're seeing here. And it's just so nice that he's decided to really celebrate his long-standing relationship that he has had with the iconic New Balance brand. Working our way to the side panels, we've got that N and that pop of pink that's outlined in white. It complements the light gray underneath quite nicely. We do have more of that purple as well and the gray meshing on the front side paneling of that toe box. As we work our way to the back, we've got more hits of that pink accent. And then as we wrap around to the heel, we've got Kith on the back there. Since we are celebrating Kith's 10th anniversary, you'll notice that instead of the eye on the back of the K Kith logo, we have that 10. And then we've got a nice pop of pink and more of that pink on the bottom here with New Balance in white. Then on the inside, we've got New Balance Kith in black and purple on a gray insole. And the sneaker is then completed with this nice sail tone or off-white tone on the back of the midsole and on the front it's white. And then it's completed with an all black outsole. Let's take a look at all of those last and final details. As far as the box goes, we do have a special box, which is an image of the actual sneaker itself, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like there. And it's really just nice to see how it would look, I guess, inside the box if the sneakers were just kind of sitting like this in there. But uh, I love that they kind of made that an art piece on the top of the box. And of course, we've got more purple and white combination color combinations, which work quite nicely with the look and feel of the sneaker. As far as what is inside of the box, I was really surprised to find these socks. These match the sneaker to a T. And I honestly wish that every single sneaker that was released came with a pair of actual socks that complemented it quite nicely. And these aren't just any socks. These are stance socks. If you haven't tried stance socks, these socks are incredible. They are definitely socks that I love wearing in my sneaker collection, but these are something that just really goes with everything and anything. And uh, I get it. I guess it's the 10th anniversary of Kith that we've been celebrating too. So I feel like it's kind of a gift to all of us as well. Uh, but we also get this nice duster bag here, which has the sneaker in purple with New Balance on the bottom there. And it's in this nice natural color, but who doesn't love a nice just duster bag that you can kind of tote along with you if you're traveling. And as you guys see, or have seen probably, I have been traveling a bit the past week. So definitely always in need of a solid duster bag. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit on these. So as far as size and fit goes, I go true size on the 990 V4 series. Uh, I don't feel like there is any tightness in the front of the toe box region. I have a little bit of extra space and these are pretty thick socks actually that these came with and I feel like it just fit on the perfect side. Again, if you do have higher to feet like myself, that would make sense for you. But if you do have flatter wire feet, this could actually differentiate a size that may work different for you. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Again, really, really just cool color combination. I think this has to be one of my favorite color combinations I've seen for New Balance when it comes to summer colorways. I definitely had to kind of pair some of the color scheme that I saw in the sneaker into my three looks. So for the first look, I decided to wear a flannel uh, plaid long sleeve button down shirt. And I feel like that color combination just complemented the sneaker quite nicely with some purple hues and pink hues in there. And then I also just wore a nice cream tank top underneath. And for the bottoms, I wore some cream denim pants that were cropped just because I feel like they complemented the back of that heel on the midsole quite nicely. Seems like the writing's on the wall. You try your best to reassure me. But lately, I don't believe you at all. It takes time to build 
up some kind of mountain It takes strength just to sit and watch it fall We can't hope that it all wasn't for nothing for the second look, I decided to wear an abstract button-down tee that had some nice light pastel purple color schemes to it. And I matched that with some little shorts that were also in a nice pastel purple colorway. I think you can really play with your purple hues and pink hues in this. And I think that it works perfect for the summertime. And then for the last and a final look, I decided to wear a crew neck dress that had some nice complimentary collars to this. And uh, it definitely had some pinks and purples in there, which again, I think is just a great color combination for the summertime. Uh, but that was just a nice kind of long sleeve crew neck dress that, you know, you can really kind of dress it up or dress it down, keep it casual with these, but it's definitely just a fun shoe that I can't wait to wear throughout the summertime. looks you let me know what was your favorite out of the three All right, so now let's conclude with these, how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $235 and they're currently going between 280 to 360. So definitely a favorite, I feel like for a lot of those who were hoping to snag another pair since this was another rendition on this sneaker and colorway. So definitely have to snag a pair if you're looking for a great summer colorway for this uh, season. It's definitely gonna be go-to for me. That's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa. We'll catch you all next episode.